Welcome back to another episode. There is a tiny CLR OS outbreak heading your way. Let's talk about that. What is tiny CLR OS? It's a way for you to run .NET, that's C Sharp and VB for now, on really tiny microcontrollers with a lot of options and you can port it to your hardware when we'll show you how. And today, we have another release where we have moved uh, TinyCLR op porting option to uh, GitHub. So you can right now go download one of the examples and you can from there modify your own port and or port a new uh, hardware. And we're starting with what we talked about last week, the brain pad. The brain pad, new one or old one, both work very similarly in today's release. Uh, so the, all the curriculum, everything we're building works exactly the same on both, like we uh, video we talked about last week. And this is running the latest preview in TinyCLR. Actually, this release also includes few uh, added features like uh, pulse capture, for example, and I'm using that for the ultrasonic sensor. But then we are including port examples for other hardware. For example, you can run TinyCLR on the STM32411 discovery board. Or on the STM32F407 uh, G, I believe, discovery board. This one right here. Or you can run it on Nadwino. Yeah. Wi Fi or the regular uh, Nadwino or Nadwino Ethernet. But then you can also run it on Cerberus. And as it runs on Cerberus, it also runs on the entire family, the Serb family. So we have Serbuino, um, B, Serbuino Net, and Serbfori. Everything you're seeing here running through Visual Studio 2017. And the extension, by the way, the TinyCLR extension for Visual Studio is about one megabyte. So that's like an instant download and installs very quick. It doesn't even need, these devices don't even need USB drivers. When you plug them in, your PC should detect them. Now we give you the USB driver just in case your PC was goofy and didn't load the, the, the drivers properly. But you don't need to install any drivers. There's a one megabyte extension and you can use all of these devices on your Visual Studio 2017. I'm not done. The port also includes Fez. What is Fez? Let me get these out of the way. This is Fez. It's right here. We're going to talk about this in a future episode. We're not going to talk about it today. But I have more good news for you, as we have handpicked some accessories that just work for you. Now, one piece of information that you need to know about the Fez, this is the official board for TinyCLR and the official port. So this will be your reference port if you want to build a new hardware or start a new port. That's what we are focusing on. But then from there, we are moving um, all the fixes and all the improvement and the features to rolling that throughout the, uh, the remaining hardware. And we are also uh, including some hand-picked accessories that they thought would, they would be really cool. And we are giving you the drivers uh, for these uh, accessories so you can quickly build things. So one example would be this. Uh, sweet uh, Palulu robot, uh, if, you pay, if you buy the assembled one, it just has okay, four batteries on the back, uh, reflective sensors, so you can build some really cool uh, applications with this robot. Um, this is another kit from Sparkfun Electronics. Um, this is really low cost and it's also, uh, there's more building to be done than uh, the Palula robot, but it's really low cost and you can, it's, there's more room on it that you can add other sensors as you wish. Uh, we are also, uh, we like this shield uh, from our friends at Adafruit. And this is a basically a joystick over here with a 1.8 inch color display. And from our friends at Seed Studio, we are supporting these Groove modules. So you really have a lot of options. If you want to have fun, you're a maker. So educators, go for, the, for uh, BrainPad. 
If you are a maker, all these are just phenomenal options no matter what you want to do. But why stop here? We are also supporting Quail. What is Quail? It's a .NET board, originally running .NET micro framework. And uh, it has several connections so you can wire things in, but also has the, um, the click, it's, it accepts the click modules. Uh, this is called Microbus standard by Microelectronica. And you can add, they have over 300 Microelectronica, have over 300 different click modules that you can uh, buy and, and plug on your Quail board and use these modules through now TinyCLR that now we support TinyCLR. We're already talking to Microbus.net, the company that made the Quail board, and we're exploring possibilities to see how we can cooperate on this now that this is running a uh, tiny CLR operating system. But then, this is really sweet, and the clickboards are very useful. Why not run put tiny CLR on this? And this. And this. Those are not there yet, but I, I don't see why we can't support these. These are all really easy options to support, but we, we run out of time. So pretty soon, I would love to see all these working with TinyCLR and the team here share my ambition for running TinyCLR operating system on everything. Another cool option for micro, Microelectronica is this robot. It's, uh, it comes with an Android app to control the robot, and there's a click module on top over here. Let's see if you can see it. This uh, is a BLE. Uh, click module, and you can expand it, of course, with other modules. There's more room in the front and the back. And then we want to change the software on here to be all tiny CLR, so you can modify it. For example, uh, one of the guys here today had the idea of adding a buzzer, so when it backs up, it makes some like uh, warning backup sound. So we have all these exciting options. But then why I stop there? We have more. You can build all these projects using TinyCLR. These are the same old projects we've had before, and we've been upgrading them to TinyCLR slowly. These are the same products. So if you build a commercial product and you want to move into TinyCLR, your existing products will most likely run TinyCLR just out of the box. And if it's not, you can port uh, TinyCLR to your hardware. So for commercial guys that are building products, you have, let's say, a development board from us or a product that you build on our products. These already run TinyCLR. We have options and options and options. All these run TinyCLR. But then we haven't stopped there. Now, we haven't made a lot of products lately, or we haven't made them public lately, because we've been busy with TinyCLR and the software. But we have many new products coming. This is something very cool that I can talk about today. That's a seven inch display, a five inch display, or a tiny display. Let's not talk about these today. But then, this can be more exciting. We can take this one step further, right? We are running on Cerberus. Why not run on Cerbot? It's still a Cerberus board. So now you can program this again with tiny CLR. Why stop there? Maybe you want to run it on the game. Maybe you have a really, really, really old product from GHI. God, this is like eight years old. Maybe 10. What about this? Any of you have any of these products? Do you want to see Tiny Sila running on these? I want to. Um, do you have eBlocks? Those will run Tiny CLR. Not today. I showed you the options that run Tiny CLR today. Even the old Neduino. Why not? We can run Tiny CLR on that. What about the sweet Fez Mini robot? This is like a 10 year old robot. It's still pretty sweet though. Okay. Uh, maybe you've built commercial designs, things. Uh, Fez Rhino, Fez Cobra. You want to run Tiny CLR on these as well? Um, I'll show you all the options. All the fezzes. This is where Fez started. We have the Fez Mini, the original Panda, the Panda 2, and uh, the Domino, sorry, the Panda 2, and then the Rhino, and the Cobra. All these 
should be running tiny CLR. And for that matter, oh, I'm running out of space here. Why not run tiny CLR on the very average single chip running .NET micro framework on the market? USB easy. And this is the USB easy dev board. It has our old logo. It's that old. Well, I could not find this board anywhere in the entire company. I have looked everywhere, and I couldn't find one. I'm pretty sure I have a couple that I have saved, but I couldn't find it. So here is the deal. Do you want to trade? If you have one of these, I'll give you a brand new fez. Not the robot, just a fez that's going to be announced very soon. Give me one of those. I'll give you a fez. See you next week.